What dire warning from your parents turned out to be bullshit? If you get in trouble at school it will go on your permanent record and ruin your life. Not once has anyone, from college admissions to prospective employers to loan officers, so much as mentioned the legendary permanent record. I went back to my old high school a year after I graduated and asked to see what was in my permanent record and they'd already thrown it away. It was only permanent temporarily. That my two choices in life were either Harvard or McDonald's. Sheesh. Bit of a gray area in between those two extremes. So, can I get fries with that? You may get fries with your master's degree. I was born left-handed. My pops used to smack the shit out of me if I used my left hat, in essence forcing me to be right-handed. I had to constantly remind myself to use the hand with my birthmark to avoid smacks. As an adult I asked my pops why he forced me to be right-handed, and he gave some tepid response about when you're left-handed you'll have a tendency to pull that way when you're driving exposing you to oncoming traffic sounded like bullshit to me, and is confirmed by all the left-hand drivers the world that don't spontaneously drive into oncoming traffic. If anyone has any ideas I'd love to know. For reference, my pops is an old-school Vietnamese dude. I feel like it's a cultural thing, but I was raised American and have no fucking idea I did a real estate closing a few years ago for a recent middle-aged Chinese immigrant. She looked at me writing with white eyes and said, you're left-handed. So am I I was confused because she was writing with her right hand, so I asked, and she said that in China, she wasn't allowed to write with her left hand and that they'd smack her when she tried. My mother would be slapped for using her left hand as a young girl. Apparently it was considered a sign of the devil. When you press the red button with the triangle in the car all the doors fall off. When teaching the class how to use the classroom computer, my first grade teacher told us all that if we clicked the trash can icon on the desktop, it would make the computer explode and we would get in a lot of trouble. Hiding your extracurricular porn in the recycle bin? Interesting strategy. I'm so using this. I laughed so hard at this mental image. I kinda want one. That if I used one brand of shampoo and a different brand of conditioner that my hair would fall out. Also when I was 5 or 6 I asked what would happen if you went the opposite way that you turned the turn signal, my mom told me the car would explode and kill us. Not sure why she told me that shit. Because it was hilarious to watch the rising panic in your eyes as she signaled right, then twitched the wheel left. How do you know my mom so well? Immediately after telling me that she veered the opposite way of the turn signal. I still remember that cry lol. She's got a dark sense of humor. I would be unemployable if I didn't learn cursive handwriting. Parents and teachers made me think that every job interview would have a cursive test in which they would measure the loops on the L's or something. Seriously have never once used cursive since, like taking the act. It was on the act? Weird. My public schooling spanned the 2000s, so we were forced to learn cursive in third grade, got told it was the way of the world, then started learning to type in class instead starting the next year. In other news, I always got told that cursive was the faster way to write, but it always took me like 4x as long to write in cursive. Same here on all counts. We were only allowed to write cursive in class for the third grade. I only remember enough to sign my name. At least for me, it's not faster, it's not easier to write, I find many people's cursive borderline impossible to read, and aside from signatures, I've never used it. If you unscrew your belly button your bum will fall off. I did my best to avoid screwdrivers for a large part of my childhood, because I lacked the willpower not to stuff them into my belly button. I was terrified at the thought of losing my bum but intrigued by the possibility. Your comment is putting me to tears haha, but I don't understand, were you obsessed with sticking screwdrivers in your belly button before or after your father told you that? Not ah, uh, but I was fascinated with my belly button. I remember that I kept sticking things in there. We can't pay one dollar to go in the haunted house because they might not have a bathroom in there. What if you have to go to the bathroom? Just admit you're cheap, dad. I'd much rather have this than my experience growing up my dad would always complain at ticket booths about how it was free that one day, so it should be free today. Or he would ask for some discount that didn't apply to him, or claim to have a coupon that maybe he had at one point, or is expired now. We would have escalating levels of managers come and talk to us, and he would keep doing it. He made my mom cry sometimes, I was just embarrassed. He sees it as good business sense, they think you're stupid if you don't ask for a discount. He doesn't realize this isn't a bazaar, he doesn't even come from a country where that's normal. The worst part about all this? We could afford it. My dad just hates paying for experiences and would rather go shopping or do anything else. Edit.
I put it in the story because I knew it would come up, but it seems to have been glossed over by many. Again, he doesn't even come from a country where bartering haggling is commonplace, at least not in large cities where my family is from. The most you can do is maybe ask for a bulk discount if you're at an independent stall in a market or something, which is something I'm not against, and it doesn't hurt to ask, however, my dad takes it a step further and feels that just because he's him, he should get greater discounts free things. When I worked in the service industry, I could never figure out why people would go through all that hassle just to save a couple of dollars. Isn't your time and dignity worth two whole dollars? My ex-stepdad owned a restaurant where I worked as a busboy when I was a teenager. He was always very tough on me, berating my work, etc. While telling me that he was going easy on me and when I got a job in the real world, his favorite phrase, my bosses would be so much tougher on me. I quit a month before my 16th birthday and went to work at the local Dairy Queen and found out he was full of shit. My mom left him shortly after that, thankfully. Worked at an ice cream shop for my first job and told people how cruel and shady the manager's owner are. That's just what jobs are like you have an easy job, it only gets worse. I was contemplating suicide BC I was bullied by management. Once a manager pushed me and started talking shit on my mom I quit. Turns out literally everywhere else is a much better work environment and you shouldn't feel like crying or throwing up when going into work. My mom warned me as a kid that eating the loose pieces of dried Raymond from the pack would make me deathly ill. I kept doing it with no problems. One day she said that in front of my dad when I was a teen and he just gave her this WTF are you talking about look. I was told it would give you worms. Those are the best bits. When we would go to the beach I would never want to get out of the water, so my mom told me that staying in the water too long would make me waterlogged. She said she could look into my eyes and see the level of water in my system. If the water raised above my iris that meant I had to get out and let the water drain before I would drown. I believed this for far too long. I was swimming with a friend and we had a track meet the next day. Her dad hollered out to us don't get waterlogged. She said we could soak up too much water and be heavier when we race the next day. My mom would always tell me take that look off your face or it will freeze like that when I was little. I took that as fact. I really wanted dimples like my friend down the street, so I would sit in my room with pencil erasers pushed into my cheeks forever. No dimples still odd, I never smiled because I have dimples when I smile, and I thought they were girly. I ended up losing weight around 21 yo, and now they jump onto my cheeks at the slightest grin dimples are adorable regardless of gender. Own it dude. Watching TV will turn your brains into mush. I thought they meant literally. My parents said the same, except they invented a serious disease called mushy brain, which affects kids who watch too much TV, and yes, literally turns your brain into mush. Terrified 8 year old me. If you play too many video games you'll have to get little braces on your fingers. Mom the kid at the cash register at the grocery store had them because he played too many video games. Just wait for the carpal tunnel to set in, around age 40, and we can talk again. Boys only want one thing from girls. Be careful in high school. That's all the boys will want to do. Turns out the one thing all the boys I hung out with wanted from me was a turn at playing Pokemon on my Game Boy. Same dude. My mom didn't even let me go to my gay friend's house, I'm a girl, he's a boy, because she was afraid he was faking being gay and would rape me. Y'all have some seriously paranoid parents. I guess my mother was too just in different ways whenever I want to go to a friend's house, my mom has to know the friend's parents, their phone numbers, if the friend has any siblings, brothers especially, what will we do, how long I'll be there, etc. Then she'll wonder why I don't go out with friends much. Microwaves will give you cancer, cell phones will give you cancer, smart meters will give you cancer, wifi will give you cancer, conventionally grown food will give you cancer, western medicine will give you cancer, antibiotics will give you cancer, my mom was obsessed with cancer. Edit. Forgot. Sitting near the TV will give you cancer. Then she bought a 12 black and white TV bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy. So basically you were raised by WebMD? Dungeons and Dragons is for devil worshippers. I'm now one of the many nerds devil worshipping. I can always make another you, I can't make another me. Turns out he can't, he got a vasectomy after I was born. Damn, that's cold. My dad got a vasectomy before I was born, but it was botched. I was a lovely surprise, I'm sure. My mom lied about being on birth control, 9 months later I was born. I didn't ever ask my parents for the story of how I was born, my dad just dropped that line on me after picking me up from school in 5th grade. Me hey dad. 
Dad have a good day at school? Me it was alright, I mean it's still school. Dad just so you know, you weren't an accident, your mom lied to me about being on birth control. Me. People you meet on the internet are swindlers or serial killers. Overall, the amount of people who are out there to get me and should be feared all day around was severely exaggerated. That explains some of my social problems, I guess. As a people on the internet I'm offended. I haven't swindled or serial killed anyone in years. My parents are Korean, so fan death. When I leave my fan on at night, I feel so alive. Um what is fan death? In Korean culture some people believe that fans rob rooms of oxygen, and if you fall asleep with a fan on, you'll suffocate. Almost every fan in Korea has a fan with a built-in timer for that reason. Keep making that face and it'll get stuck like that. I don't know. I seem to stuck on resting asshole face, so I can't be sure she wasn't right about that. Meanwhile I'm just standing there holding my tongue trying to talk like this, till I stuck my tongue on that frozen stop sign pole at 8 years old. You won't walk around life with a calculator in your pocket. Not really a warning, but my dad told me I was Princess Poops a lot out of Lulu Island. I was maybe four-fifths and went to school bragging about how I was a princess and they better respect my authority. The school called my parents and my dad just about died from laughter. My mom used to tell me that masturbation would turn someone into a rapist, cause your body doesn't know any different, once you get addicted mental health, and addiction played a large part in a lot of her ideas about how the world functions. 20 years on she's doing much better. My mom is convinced that if I don't take all honors and AP classes in high school, I'm going to drop out and not get into college. Whenever I try to drop out of a class, she emails my counselor and tells her to put me back in. After you betrayed me like this and you moved to that bitch, you will never succeed in life, you will not graduate school, you will not work and you will fail. Dad, 8 years AGO on the phone. To 13 year old me on the day I moved indefinitely to my mother after 9 years of abuse. I work, I graduated school and I did not fail at the stuff he said I was gonna fail at. I might have failed in other things though, but that is another story. If you keep masturbating, you'll go blind. Thoroughly tested and definitively false. Oral sex is dangerous and not pleasurable for either party, oh my, how very wrong this statement was. Dude who would even lie about giving head a mom who didn't want her daughter sucking dick. It backfired hard. Either that or she used too much teeth and ruined it for every guy she's with. All of them. Don't talk to strangers, they'll take you into an alley and kill you for your money, your friends don't care about you, they just want to use you for your money, don't take that dance class. Employers will think you're weird and not hire you. If you can't tell me everything you're doing there every day, you're not taking it serious enough, and I'm pulling you out of school, dad lost his marbles a little when I went to college.